G'day. This video is not about making a part so much as trying to deal with 6061 alloy. 6061 is a real challenge to turn in a small lathe. You really need a lot of horsepower to deal with it properly. I've only got half a horsepower. This is an aluminium insert and you can see it's not doing very well at clearing the swarf. The spiral of chip that it's getting is very large. I mean, you'd use an aluminium insert, you think it would be the right thing to do. Guys with big lathes, lots of horsepower, use them all the time because they can take huge cuts and rapid feed and don't have the problems with it that you get with a small lathe. Look at that mess. So here I've gone back to my standard FC Sumitomo insert which I use for a general purpose insert. And you can see the swarf is much tighter, much more manageable. This insert has a ground edge and 15 degrees of rake and you can see I'm using just about all the horsepower I've got on the lathe. It's, uh, the motor's rated at five amps continuous. And I don't like much going above that. And when you slow down for your finish cut, you get a horrible mess. But at least that doesn't generate a lot of swarf. That facing cut is taking out off about a millimetre and a half. Here I've, um, what have I done? I've, this is about three times the depth of cut and a third of the feed. And you can see it's making a right mess. And I've got to get rid of that swarf, I have to bag it. And you end up with a bag that's half full but you can't get any more in. Because the swarf just takes up so much room. Also had to bore this thing out, so here you can see it half a millimetre depth of cut and 0.15 feed. It's not good. Tried using an FC insert on this and it didn't like it much, it just chattered. So this is an aluminium insert, 80 degree profile. This is a dwell that I've put into the program previously when I was having a lot more trouble with the dwarf management. And I think that's just a 0.05 feed. You can see it's quite messy. Now here, I've halved the depth of cut and doubled the feed. And you can see it's a lot tighter chip. Well, it's not really a chip, is it? It's tighter swarf. And there's that dwell, and it's actually cleared the swarf itself. So the final cut will be a bit messy. There you go, thank you for watching and I hope this helps you manage 6061.